I'm Mizuki Wada. I'm 28. One day, I was on my way to see my fiancé's brother. After dating for four years, we decided to get married, and it was my first time seeing him. Ugh, I'm so nervous. Don't worry, he's a nice person. He's always really nice to me and my friends, and I've told him so much about you. He's really looking forward to meet you. I hope so. This is Yuka, my fiancé. When she was in 11th grade, her parents passed away. They were both in a car accident. Her older brother was a junior in college at the time, but he dropped out right away and started working as a system engineer to provide for her. He couldn't finish college himself, but he worked hard day and night to put Yuka through college. So he wasn't just her older brother, he was like her father in a way. I always wanted to meet him, but he was always busy. He was a very smart guy. When he was 25, he quit his company and started his own firm. He was 32 now, and his company now had 30 employees. I was looking forward to seeing him, but at the same time, I was very nervous. Wow, look at this place! Come on, loosen up. He's just my older brother. Come on. Okay, the time has come. Hello, welcome! Hey, long time no see. Hey there, sis. Wow, he's got such class. Hello, I'm Mizuki Wada. It's nice to meet you, and uh... Come on in. We can talk inside. I don't want to bother my neighbors. Oh, right, sorry. Come on. Here's your cocoa, Yuka. Hey, thanks. For you, here, try this fruit juice. Uh, thanks. I've never seen anything like it. I was really excited to meet you, so I made it myself. It's very good for you. Try it. Uh, right, thanks. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, I don't think he likes me. Look at this thing. I bet it's poison. So, uh, we got some big news. What is it? We've been dating for four years now, and we decided to get married. What? He seems pissed. Hold on, Yuka. I couldn't quite catch that. Could you repeat yourself? Uh, okay. Mizuki and I are getting married next spring. Hope you can make it to the wedding. <laughs> hold on, Yuka, hold on. Let's take this one step at a time. First of all, I haven't approved of this. Uh-oh. Mizuki Wada. Yeah? From what she tells me, you're a writer, correct? You write novels. I'm sorry, but I can't let you marry my sister. Writers don't make much, and my sister deserves better than that. Hold on, he's doing just fine. He's making more than enough to get by, and I'm working too. We'll be fine. He might be doing okay right now, but how long is that gonna last, huh? Five years, ten years? I doubt it. It's just an unstable business. But his novels are really good. He even won an award. I told you about this. You haven't read it yet? No, I don't have time for nonsense like that. Sir, if my writing career doesn't take off, I'll quit and get a different job right away. And I'll save as much as I can. How old are you? 28. Have you ever worked at a company? No. You really think anyone's gonna hire you? A guy in his late 20s who's never had a job before? Uh, I, uh, I guess he's got a point, but... But... I want Yuka to be happy. She's been through enough, you know? I need someone I can trust, someone I can rely on to make her happy. Sorry, but you can't marry her. Ugh. Mizuki, sorry about him. I had no idea he'd react like this. It's okay. I always told him about you, and I thought he'd understand you, but... I guess not. I'm so sad. Yuka. I really want to marry you, Mizuki. My guess is he never liked me to begin with. That's why he always avoided me. But I guess he did have a point. I mean, they lost their parents when they were kids, and I can only imagine what they've been through. And being a successful writer wasn't easy. It was a really unstable job, so I can see why he's worried. Who knows what I'll be doing five years later. I'm doing okay right now, but maybe one day my readers will get tired of my work and move on to other things. 
It's not that he doesn't like me, he just wants the best for Yuka. I get that, but what else can I do to change his mind? I met Yuka four years ago. At the time, I was working part-time at this bar. I had just started my writing career, but I couldn't make ends meet. I had multiple jobs at the time. I did win an award, but things aren't going so well. What am I doing wrong? Maybe I don't have what it takes to become a writer. Maybe I should quit this place and focus all my time on writing. Or maybe I should just quit and get a normal job. Hey, have you ever read this? It's really good. It's called The Tears of Moldavite. Never heard of it. What is it about? It's about this black cat. And when it cries, its tears turn into jewelry called Moldavite. So the more it cries, the more Moldavite it produces. Okay. And Moldavite is what they use to make a holy grail. When you pour water into the holy grail and drink it, it heals your illness and makes you immortal and stuff. I see. So when the bad guys took notice, they took the cat and started using its tears to make money. But then this boy comes along and saves the cat. I don't want to spoil it for you, but it's amazing. I almost cried when I finished the book. Sounds really good. Uh, uh, can I borrow the book? Sure. Well, no way. She liked my book. And she's recommending it to her friends. Hey, I'm gonna go use the bathroom. Okay. Hey, uh, I, I heard you guys uh, talking about that novel. Yeah, are you a fan too? Uh, actually, I, I kind of wrote it. <gasps> it was my first time hearing someone else talk about it, and I don't know, I just wanted to thank you, I guess. <laughs> wow. No way, I'm a huge fan. This book changed my life. I should be the one thanking you. <laughs> she started coming to the bar often after that. We started talking, and I really enjoyed having her around. She motivated me to work harder as a writer. Every time I saw her, I wanted to write more. Then about a year later, I finished my second novel, and it was a big hit. My career was starting to take off. I decided to focus all my energy on writing after that. Then... Yuka-san, will you go out with me? Sure. Then four years went by. It was the best four years of my life. I couldn't imagine my life without Yuka. All right, it's time for me to take action. I wanted him to know me better. So I gave him all the books and articles that I wrote in the past. I showed him my bank balance to show him that I had some money saved for a rainy day. I even wrote a written argument saying that I'd get a normal job if my writing career goes south, but... Hmm... Sir, will you please give me a chance? Yeah, come on. You know what? Forget it. Yuka? You can oppose this all you want, but I'm going to marry him anyways. We want your blessing, but we'll give up. We're going to get married, and hopefully someday you'll see that I made the right decision. I see. He didn't give us his blessings. I really tried, but... We tried to convince him for months, but it didn't work. Then the big day was here. He showed up. I guess that's good. Yeah, but he looks so angry. This is embarrassing. I'm sure he's happy for you. This can't be easy for him, so just let him be. Fine, but if he does anything to ruin my wedding, I'm gonna cut all ties with him. Oh, don't worry, I'm sure he won't do that. Yuka was worried about her brother, but he just sat there without saying anything, then. Everyone, may I have your attention, please. The bride's brother would now like to give a speech. He wrote a letter to his sister and the groom. What? What is she talking about? I don't know. What's going on? Ugh, oh no. What is he gonna say? Mizuki, last night, I read your novel. What? Every time you wrote a novel, my sister sent me a copy, but I never read it. All the books you sent me, I never read them either, but last night, for the first time, I read one of your novels, and at first I was hoping it would be really bad, that I could use it against you and embarrass you in front of all of our guests, but then as I started reading, I lost track of time. I hate to admit it, but I really loved your work. By the end, I couldn't stop crying. That's why my eyes are bloodshot red today. Thanks a lot. Uh, Mizuki, I'm sorry for the way I acted. It was nothing against you. 
I think I would have done the same to anyone, to be honest. I just couldn't accept the fact that my sister no longer needed me. That's all. Hey, no, don't say that. She'll always need you. You're her big brother. You're irreplaceable to her. Yeah. The cat's tears no longer turned into Moldavite. The bad guys stopped chasing him, but now he didn't know what to do with his life. And when it was time for the cat to part ways with the boy who helped him, he was very sad. But then the boy said to the cat, I'll never forget the time we spent together. Our friendship will last forever. That's the line for my novel. You'll always be my big brother. You'll always have a special place in my heart. You know that. I love you so much. Thank you so much for coming today. <laughs> You're right. And his novel was the best I've read in years. If you can write something like that, I'm sure you'll be able to take great care of Yuka. Mizuki, congratulations. I'm counting on you. Thank you, sir. Her big brother gave us his blessings at the last minute. It was very touching. I couldn't stop crying. After that, he became a big fan of my work. I think he was into my novels more than my wife now. I read your new novel! It was fantastic! I had a very important business meeting the next day, so I was gonna wait until it was over, but I couldn't resist! My eyes were bloodshot red, I could barely stay awake! He sure loves your book. Every time a new one comes out, he buys multiple copies and hands them out at his company. What, really? Yeah, I think everyone should read your book. Thank you. Anyways, my wife and I were very happy about the way things turned out. It was a rough couple of months, but glad everything worked out. Whatever that book is, I kind of want to read it too. It sounds like an interesting novel. I think it'd be really good to try to learn lessons from it. I'll never forget the time we spent together. Our friendship will last forever. <laughs> it's so sweet. Anyways, what do you think of today's story? Please let me know in the comment section below. We'll see you guys next time. Bye bye Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.